Ugh, jocks. Don't you hate jocks, those date-raping jocks? They're always raping and stuff. They're the worst. That's how I was raised. I grew up Generation X in Canada, and Canada was even more Gen X-y than America because it's a new country, so there was less backstory. And when I went to school, the underdog nerd was so venerated that jocks and quarterbacks and cheerleaders were actually kind of seen as losers. It was like a underdog culture. So we worshipped, you know, Ducky from Pretty in Pink. That was the cool guy when I was growing up. And jocks were evil because they rape women. And that's just a fact. It's just a given. And so uh, we would watch shows like Square Pegs, Sarah Jessica Parker's first show, that was about the outcast nerds. But in our world, they were the cool kids and the jocks were the uh, uncool kids. Um, and so we grew up with this obsession with beta males as the cool guys and the evil, dark, horrible, blonde men, the letterman wearing sweater guys as the evil guys. And I, I'm not the only one. We saw this with Duke Lacrosse. They couldn't wait to pounce on those rich, white, blonde, evil rapists. Or the UVA hoax. Uh, what was her name? Sabrina Erdely. Hardest name ever. It's like rural juror. Um, she... She said that she was excited about this case because it involved her perfect archetype of the evil, blonde, rapist jock. And I'm realizing now in my 40s, it's all bullshit. In fact, it's reversed. These sweeties in the cardigans, the, the duckies of the world, they're the rapists. And I know this from experience. Why isn't anyone talking to Ted? Oh, uh, some weird shit went on where some girl was passed out of his house and he had sex with her while she was unconscious. Oh, but he's not a quarterback. And I'm not going to name names here because I, I've seen people pilloried for this uh, unjustly so, but it seems like every serious case of bona fide sexism and rape, and at least within my world, I'm not talking about all crime statistics, but within the paradigm of jocks and nerds, it seems like the nerds, the beta males, the sweeties, the comedians are doing a hell of a lot more raping and sexual harassment than these jocks. The jocks, they do okay with getting laid. And I feel kind of ripped off. I mean, it's, it's, it's not just annoying to me because it's, it was a lie I was told my whole life, but it's ruining jocks' lives. Like Duke Lacrosse and UVA hoax ruin lives. Mattress Girl ruined a life for these, these guys. These false, this false premise that quarterbacks are evil damages lives, and it's also really annoying. Here's what quarterbacks are really like. And it, by the way, this took me about 40 years to figure out. Do you have this tape? This is a guy who... Uh, Maddie Thompson Morley, can you please come up here? And when 16-year-old Maddie's name was called, Maddie Thompson. she ran. And Connor stepped out and popped the question. Will you go to Evening Dreams with me? Yes. <laughs> there you go. You like Look, he's kind of nervous. She had absolutely no idea. And dry eyes in the cafeteria of Folsom High School were hard to find. Okay, that's enough of that. Handicapped girl, special needs, slow, whatever. Do they laugh at her? Do they make fun of her? No. I mean, you know who's making fun of women? Feminists. They dress them up in these ridiculous costumes and say, you're beauty from Beauty and the Beast, or you're in the cover of Playboy. It's cruel. The ones that we were told are the evil jocks. They're taking special needs kids to prom. We've been fed a lie, and it's time to untangle this mess that they put in our brains and accept that the evil blonde jock is actually a good guy, and the sweetie in the cardigan is actually a fucking rapist. Hey guys, thanks for checking out that video. I do a show uh, that you gotta pay for, subscribe to. It's called How's It Going, A, eh? And I talk to uh, interesting people about interesting stuff. And it's very serious and educational and political and smart. You can subscribe by clicking here.